Praise the Lord. How many know we want to get started on our tidbit today in Jesus' name? We're going to talk about the double portion. Amen. So how do I tap into the double portion? Let's go to John chapter 6. And this is a reformation here that we're going to get started. And people, when you grasp onto the tidbits and you grab the nuggets of revelation that you're hearing and start applying them, wow, power of God shows up. Amen. Amen. Verse 12, let's go over here. And when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost, in Jesus' name. So fragments are part of the double portion, in Jesus' name. When you start recognizing there's a lot of little things that slide by on us that we call fragments that we don't take care of. We are in a, uh, the United States that's a very wasteful type of people. Like, oh, here's a sheet of paper. All I needed was a little piece, but the whole thing gets thrown in the garbage. So we can think nothing of it. But the fragments Jesus is trying to show us, the disciples didn't even think about it. He did. So when we look at why is that so important for us to fill up on the fragments, because that's where the double portion is in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus says the things that he shows us will confound the wise and the foolish things because make, make people all upset. Well, this is one of how, how the kingdom of God operates. You start looking, what are fragments in your life? What are the things that you're not looking at or paying attention to that could actually bring you wealth and bring you prosperity and, and safety and peace in Jesus' name? So how can we have more money? Uh, because we're going to make money our slave. I mean, work for money instead of money working for you. See, we want that money to work for us. And so many of us don't know how to make it work for us. Uh, you think you have to have this, you think you have to have that in order for it to happen. Instead of, just do it. In Jesus' name, amen? amen. So we want, we want that money to be our slave. We tell it what to do, okay? Amen? amen. All right. So. What we want to do is give to the money so it will change governments. So here in the world system, it's in our hands, but when we bring it to church, when we bring it as a seed gift offering, it is changing kingdoms, and because it changes kingdoms, now we're going to be able to enter into God's double portion where he can multiply us. Thank you, Lord. Giving... God, a legal right to bless us. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So we want God to bless us in the things that we put our hands to in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So what we want to do now is to break off the things that have us that cause us to be a slave to it. And what we do is start giving unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. And giving sets that pace together so we can turn around and change governments. Amen. Amen. All right. So we have the keys to the kingdom of heaven in Jesus' name. And other tidbits that I've shared with you, how to use the keys to the kingdom of heaven, is believe in your heart and receive from Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen.